Hi, and welcome to a Playmaker tutorial. Today I'll show you how to change audio mixer volumes using Playmaker. Before we begin, we need to get a few things in order. First, we need to grab an add-on for Playmaker called Ecosystem. If you've already installed the Ecosystem, you can skip to the Action section. To get the Ecosystem add-on, in the menu bar, click on the Playmaker button, Add-ons, then Download Add-ons. This should open the add-on site on the Playmaker website. Select Ecosystem Browser, and below the Download Package section, click on the link to download the Ecosystem add-on. Alternatively, back on the menu bar in Unity, select the Playmaker button, click on the Welcome screen, Add-ons, and then select Ecosystem Browser. This will take you to the same site where you can download the Unity package. Import the package, click on the Playmaker button again, Add-ons, and Ecosystem to open up the Ecosystem Browser. Click on the green button agreeing to use Ecosystem. Now that we have Ecosystem installed, we can download extra actions that do not come with Playmaker by default. There are a few actions we need in order to accomplish our goal. The actions we need are Audio Mixer Set Float Value and Convert Float to Decibels. Search for both and click Get to download them. After a short wait, they will appear in the Action Browser. Now we need to set up the audio mixer and the methods of controlling it with Playmaker. Click on the window button, audio, and then audio mixer. We have no mixers set up, so we need to create one. Click on the little plus sign in the audio mixer tab next to the mixers text. Name it something relevant. It should now appear in our project folder. Back in the audio mixer window and under the groups section, either click on the little plus sign to create a new channel or by right-clicking on the Master Channel in the Group section and selecting Add Child Group. Name the new channel something relevant. Before we can get to the Playmaker section, we need to expose the volume parameters for controlling the volume of these channels. We do this by clicking on the different channels in the Audio Mixer window. Once you've selected a channel, right-click on the volume inside the Inspector window and selecting Expose Volume to Script. Do this for every channel. In the top right corner of the Audio Mixer window, you'll see the newly exposed parameters in a drop-down list. Right-click on them and rename them to something relevant. We also need to set up a simple UI with sliders. I will not create anything fancy, simply right-click in the hierarchy, go to UI and select Sliders. Do this three times, name them something relevant and move them where you want them. I'm going to create a new empty game object, call it audio controller, and control everything within that game object. This you don't need to do, but I'm also going to create another empty game object, call it SFX Wind. I'll leave it as is for now, I'll get back to it later. To control the different exposed parameters we created previously, we essentially only need the audio mixer set float value action. But for reasons that will become apparent, we also need the convert float to decibel action. We're going to control the different volumes with these three sliders. To do that, we need to get their values, create a new FSM in our audio controller, and give it a relevant name. To get the slider's value, we can easily just drag and drop the slider into the State tab, select Slider, then UI, and then Get Value. Create a new variable, call it Master Volume. Remember to enable every frame for this example. Do this for every slider, drag and drop, create variable. To make these variables we get usable, we need the convert float to decibels action. Set the volume as a variable by clicking the button with the equal sign on it. Select our master volume, and for the output decibels, create a new variable, call it master volume decibels. Enable the every frame option. Do this for every variable we created previously. The reason for needing this action is because the volumes inside the audio mixer are logarithmic and not linear. Meaning, we need a way to turn our 0 to 1 value we get from our sliders into 0 to negative 80. And do so logarithmically and not linearly. This action will do that for you. Now all we need is to set those converted values to the exposed parameters we created earlier. To set the parameters value, we need the audio mixer set float value action from before. Find it in the action browser and drag it into the state window. Set the mixer you want to target by clicking the little circle and finding the mixer in question. Type the name of the exposed parameter, 
and select the converted value as the float value. Remember to enable every frame. If you don't remember the parameter's name, just go back to the audio mixer window and look at the top right corner. You'll find the parameters there. Now, when we go into our game view and hit play, we should be able to drag the sliders and watch the volumes go up and down in the audio mixer window. Now for the reason why I made the SFX window object earlier. I'll add an audio source component to it, selecting a wind sound effect as the audio clip by clicking the little circle and finding one. I'll also find the audio mixer group I want by clicking the little circle and selecting the SFX channel. Now when I go back into play mode and mess around with the sliders, the wind SFX volume will be set globally. Had I had multiple audio sources all set to the SFX channel, I can now set their volume globally. And this marks the end of the tutorial, I hope it helps. If you found this video helpful and or educational, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I'll hopefully get more tutorials out soon.